Welcome to Learn and Love Music. I'm Dwayne Hulbert. I'm here on a rainy day in Tacoma, Washington, and I thought, what better piece to play than Debussy's wonderful Gardens in the Rain? It's from a set of pieces, three pieces, called Estamp, or kind of like a stamp, or like a... a, a it, it's just a, a little sheet of paper. He makes it sound very simple, these three pieces. But I'm doing number three, which is Gardens in the Rain. Today I'm going to give you five tips on how to play this wonderful piece by Debussy. Tip number one, you have to establish a wonderful touch from the beginning. They're very fast notes. And he writes net et vif, very dry and fast. And a lot of times we want to use pedal for Debussy's music, it's impressionistic. But in this case, we want to have a nice dry sound, almost like the pitter-patter of rain on a roof of a building. So, let's listen to this beginning. I'm, I'm playing the left hand, the melody's in the left hand, all staccato, and I play the right hand a little smoother, but we always hear that short, dry pitter-patter of sound in the left hand. Notice toward the end of that passage, I added a little bit of pedal, but it's starting with that dry touch. That's what sets off this piece beautifully. Tip number two, how to play with a forte touch when we go into F sharp minor. This is a, a key change going from F sharp major, sort of like the, lay, the beautiful rain falling, but suddenly he goes into this, he writes the word subito. So you have to really go for this forte as a contrast to the light sounds before. I'll start with the lighter sounds at F sharp major, then suddenly, as he marks, subito, we'll go into this F sharp minor, which is very rich and powerful. To get the best effect in this passage, you have to make the notes sound like ringing bells, very loud ringing bells, because what happens here, the left hand is in the melody, they're marked staccato, but I use the pedal so that it gives it more of a ringing sound. Here's what it sounds like, these bell-like sounds. And tip number three, when you reach the passage that's marked anime, he said, he uses the word augmente, pu a pu, build it, build it, make it stronger. But what he does is he's using augmented sounds. It's very odd, the harmony that he uses here, but it gives it a lot of tension and it builds up with this driving rhythm and with these wonderful augmented chords. Here's this passage. It's fabulous the way he builds that tension, not only with the speed and the volume, but with the chord itself. That augmented chord has a very almost uncomfortable feel to it. Tip number four. Here, this is a passage that's a little bit more laid back. He writes tempo one, but less rigorous, moins rigoureux. And what we want to do is create this really almost a uh, uh, dreamlike sound. And in this spot, the left hand has this continuous line of and a little melody underneath. Chromatic line. And then above, we have these wonderful short notes that are played with pedal. And it gives it almost an eerie feeling to it. So listen to the left hand busyness and the right hand bell-like sounds. Moi rigoureux.
I love the, the big triplets in that section. You're going along one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. So he makes it very ethereal in this passage. And tip number five, make the ending very dramatic. At the end, Debussy writes a, a big chord that crosses over. And I like crossing my hand over, not only because it's difficult, but it's very showy to do this on that jump going up. And also at the very end is making this other jump going up to the high E, the very last note. So instead of doing that, we do we cross over. So what I'm going to do is show you how to play this end section and watch the cross hands. It's, it's not only a musical excitement, but it's a visual excitement in this passage at the end. So I've given you five tips on how to play this wonderful piece by Claude Debussy, his Gardens in the Rain. Make sure you check out our companion video where I'll be playing the piece in its entirety, this Gardens in the Rain. And we want to see you back again, so make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Learn and Love Music.